Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about serializable schedules, right? We know that serial schedules are always correct, but serial schedules limit concurrency by prohibiting interleaving of operations. In a serial schedule, if a transaction waits for an input output operation to complete, we cannot switch the CPU processor to another transaction right thus wasting valuable CPU processing time right a non serial schedule may or may not be correct right a non serial schedule s of n transactions which is equivalent to some serial schedule of the same n transactions will always be correct right now, a schedule S of N transactions, which is equivalent to some serial schedules of the same N transactions is called serializable schedule, right? A schedule S of N transactions, which is equivalent to some serial schedule of the same N transactions is called serial schedule, right? Now, when two schedules are considered equivalent right there are two ways by which two schedules can be equivalent right one is conflict equivalence and another one is view equivalence in this tutorial we will study about conflict equivalence right now what is the meaning of conflict equivalence Two schedules are said to be conflict equivalent if the order of any two conflicting operations is same in both schedules, right? Two operations in a schedule are set to conflict if they belong to different transactions, access the same database item and at least one of them is right item operation. We know that if we change the order of conflict operations, we will get different results, right? If in two schedules, the order of any two conflicting operations is same, right? If in two schedules, the order of any two conflicting operations is same, then this, because of this, their result will be same and they are said to be conflict equivalent right a, schedule, a schedule s1 which is conflict equivalent to some serial schedule s2 is said to be conflict serializable it will be more clear after this example now here see these two schedules it is a serial schedule it is a non serial schedule now we have to check whether they are conflict equivalent to each other or not right now see these two conflict operations this one and this one write item x of t1 transaction right and read item x of t2 transactions right these two operations are conflict operations right in this schedule the order is first uh, this write operation of uh, transaction t1 will be performed and after that this read item x of t2 will be performed right so the order of these uh, conflict operations, this one, write item X of T1 and read item X of T2. In this schedule is different, right? In this schedule, first, read item X of T2 transaction is executed. And after this, write item X operation of transaction T1 will be executed right here the order of these two conflict operations are different 
right here first uh, read operation of transaction t2 is executed read x and after that write operation of transaction t1 is executed write x right but in this schedule first write operation of transaction t1 is executed write item x and after that read operation of transaction t is executed that is read item x right so in these two schedules right the order of uh, conflict operations is not same right therefore these two schedules are not conflict equivalent right now consider this schedule right In this schedule, consider this conflict operation. Read operation of uh, transaction T1 and write operation of transaction T2. Here first uh, read operation of T1 is executed and after this write operation of transaction T2 is executed. It is executed after the read operation of T1. right? Now, the order of these two conflict operations is same in this schedule. First, read operation of transaction T1 is executed, read item X. And after this, write operation of transaction T2 is executed, write item X. Right? Now, Consider the order of these two conflict operations. Write operation of T1 and read operation of T2. Right Here, in this schedule, write operation of T1 is executed before the read operation of transaction T2. First, write item X operation of T1 is executed and after this, read item x operation of transaction t2 will be executed now see the opera uh, the order of these two conflict operation is also same in this schedule right here first see right operation of transaction t1 will be executed write item x right and after it read operation of transaction t2 will be executed right here write operation of t1 will be executed before read operation of transaction t2 right so the order of uh, this conflict operations is also same in both of these schedules right if we check we will found that uh, the order of all conflict operations right the order of any two conflict operations is same in both schedules right therefore these two schedules are equivalent to each other right now this schedule is a serial schedule right so this schedule is conflict equivalent to a serial schedule right Therefore, this schedule is called conflict serializable schedule, right? Now see, 